Wind is west at 8, humidity 86%. It's 55 degrees at the airports, 57 in the loop. Air commuter weather out in Seattle, it's clear and 45. New York City, 43 and clear. Reviewing our lead story, sheriff's deputies are on patrol today in south suburban Dixmoor, where the 18-man police force walked out in a wage dispute. This is Jim Gannon. Here with the WIND editorial is Group W Vice President Edward Wallace. At some time or another, everybody has griped about the personal property tax. If it were strictly enforced, it would be confiscatory. So most areas either don't collect it at all or purposely cut the assessments to manageable levels. There's an orderly manner to get rid of this disagreeable tax. The first step is to vote yes on November 3rd on the special proposal to abolish the personal property tax. That will effectively remove the tax from the individual citizens. Then on December 15th, when you vote on the new state constitution, by voting yes, you can put a second step in the operation. This will also firm up the ending of the personal property tax on individuals and start an eight-year period for phasing out the tax on businesses. We favor the end of the personal property tax on the grounds that it is unworkable, unfair, and subject to abuse. The money raised by that tax, however, is essential, particularly to local schools, and it will have to be made up. Marie Scott of the Taxpayers Federation of Illinois estimates that personal property taxes on individuals alone raises $140 million this year. Under the two proposals on which you will vote next Tuesday and on December the 15th, this tax burden cannot be shifted to property taxes. It will probably have to come from income taxes in the case of individuals and on a business operation tax in the case of industry. This problem will be up to the coming session of the Illinois legislature. But you can start this program of fiscal reform by voting yes next Tuesday on the special question of abolishing the personal property tax. That's WIND's opinion on this matter. We recognize our responsibility to present all responsible viewpoints.
Beverly Brothers? Wrong. Simon and Garfunkel from their Bridge Over Troubled Water album, Bye Bye Love with Robert W. Good Morgan from Wind. It's 910, and my telephone number is 828-9110. Seven suicides in the county jail this year. One headline, one scandal after another. What does the Cook County Sheriff's Office need to meet its responsibilities now? The courage and ability of Elrod, lawyer, legislator, administrator, and law enforcer. Elect Richard Elrod Sheriff, a man of courage and ability for a job that demands it. I'm Dick Elrod. I promise to administer the most effective and professional sheriff's department in the history of Cook County. Sponsored by Elrod for Sheriff's Citizens Committee. Yes, it's uh, no flight delays in Chicago this morning despite the weather, and later on we might run into some delays up to maybe 20 minutes or so, but that's not bad considering it's raining, so doggone hard. W-I-N-D Chicago It seems like too many Americans are taking sides against other Americans, closing their minds to the good ideas the other side has to offer. That's why in the Chicago Sun-Times, we tell both sides. Because we think if you know enough about both sides, you just may not want to take sides. You may decide to keep your mind open to the best ideas of both. The right one. We think you're smart. Good morning, WIND. Hi, my name is um, Richard Benzik, and I'm from Argo, Illinois. From Argo? Yeah. Yes, Richard. And I wanted to um, say that our hockey team from here, they yeah. all listen to your show. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. Have you Have you played yet this year? Yeah. How are you doing so far? Okay. What do you mean by okay? I'm doing pretty good. You winning or losing? We're, we're all winning. Okay, we keep listening game. and you'll keep winning. That's a promise, all right? Okay. Okay, man. 9-12 with Robert W. And if your hockey team... Isn't listening? Get him on the ball. 828-9110 is the number. The Carpenters, and we've only just begun. We've only just begun to live White lace and promises A kiss for luck and we're on
only just begun. Karen and the Carpenters with Robert W. On the wind, Good Morgan, Chicago, 915 rain all day today. It's uh, going to get cooler down to the 40s tonight and 50s uh, tomorrow with more clouds and a good chance for more rain for the rest of today and tomorrow. Yes, ma'am, can I help you? Hello. Hello. Uh, could you tell me where the Ponderosa is at? That nudist camp? What nudist camp? Well, there's a po- I thought you were talking about the Ponderosa nudist camp. No, I'm not. Because you didn't sound like a nudist to me. You're not, you're, you're not a nudist, are you? Never know. <laughs> We've been watching you for three months very closely. You're under arrest. Would you please place your hands over your head, walk slowly out your front door. We don't want to have to use the tear gas grenades. People to be Going to London, fly a BOAC VC-10 jet, direct from O'Hare. It's the jet for people who don't like crowds because it carries only about a third as many passengers as that other plane. And you know what they say, BOAC takes good care of you. With the elections coming up, you still have a chance to hear the candidates and the issues, if there are any. I haven't heard any yet. But listen to Contact on WIND every weeknight at 8. Dave Baum is the host, and if you're very nice to him and call up and treat him good, he might pickle you. Who knows? Yes, can I help you? Yes, what did you promise me yesterday? What did uh, I promise you? Yes, in regards to Over the River. At 7.15 or so, you would play it. N- I've been glued to the No, train. no, 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 no. I said 6.15. Oh, no, don't tell me that. Because no. I just, oh, come on Come now. on now. Oh, you've just got to play it again. Over I wasted the, oh. the whole morning waiting to tape the thing. I went through hell to get uh, a radio to tape it. Darling, don't go... F- don't, don't, darling, music. darling, 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 darling. I and radio are not important enough to go through hell for. Please, relax. Hey, be creative. For your favorite recipe and new ones, choose abundant, tasty, and budget-fitting pork. Check the wonderful pork bargains in your store today. There's more to pork than good crisp bacon. 917 at WIND. I get a lot of requests for Glenn Yarborough, and I was just back looking through some of the new releases, and son of a gun, if he doesn't have a new one. Written by an old buddy of mine, John Stewart. Be good this morning. I often get the feeling that I'm talking to the wind and no one hears. No one listens in. Then I start singing songs. And the music makes the whole world feel like home Sing a song and you're not alone Lily McLean, you are standing in the rain and you are cold You are hungry and afraid You're waiting for the sunrise But sunrise makes you feel so very small Darling Lily, aren't we all? Far on out to sea, 
Let it carry the confusion, the hatred and the worry here in me. River, roll it out to sea. Cause I'm believing, believing, believing that even when I'm gone, maybe some lonesome picker will find some healing in this song. Some lonesome picker will find some healing in this song. Some lonesome picker will find some healing. Maybe in this song. some lonesome picker will find some healing in this song. Some lonesome picker will find some healing in this song. Glenn Garborough, maybe some lonesome picker will find some healing in this song. Written by John Stewart, who was with the Kingston Trio for several years, and is now on his own. That's one of his great songs. 922 with Robert W. Good Morgan from Wynn. Yes, going to help you. Good morning. Hi. Uh, my wife and I uh, enjoy your program very much, but most of all, our three-and-a-half-year-old daughter enjoys it because with Sesame Street not on, she enjoys listening to uh, the album. She has it at home, and when you play the record, she tells us just what the name of the song is and oh, who great. is singing it. Great. Do you watch Sesame Street yourself? Yes, sir, I do. I'm not sure if that's a children's show or an adult show, are you? <laughs> I, I think, think it's, it's both. I think it is, too. It's one of the greatest shows I've ever seen. I'll tell you what, I'll make you promise. I'll play a cut from the Sesame Street album every day until Sesame Street gets back on the air. Deal? Fine. Okay, Fine. thanks for calling. The policies of P.J. Cullerton as assessor have generated a construction boom that is the envy of the nation. Many cities offer long-term tax exemption to lure industry. Cullerton has stimulated building merely by giving new developments a chance to earn their way before they are fully taxed. The millions in new taxes have held down taxes on older homes. Vote to keep Cullerton in office. The preceding political announcement was paid for by the committee for P.J. Cullerton for assessment. Rain all day today with highs and low 60s, but dropping steadily and down to the 40s by tonight. And cooler tomorrow, more rain and drizzle with highs in the 50s. Right now, 55 in Midway, 55 O'Hare, and 57 along the lake. Got a good reason for borrowing, like needing some extra cash to buy a better car? place appliances, pay bills, make home improvements, then Household has a good reason for lending. In fact, each year, Household has two and a half million good reasons for lending. Because two and a half million good people like you borrow from Household. They want a lending company they can trust, so they choose Household. That's why when you've got a good reason to borrow, you've got a good reason to choose Household Finance. A good reason for borrowing is a good reason for lending and the good place to borrow is household finance at household finance loan corporation you can borrow up to five thousand dollars and choose from a wide variety of repayment plans hfc has 56 offices in the chicago area see your phone book for the addresses good morning wind yes Yes, can I help you? All right, this is, the, this is the one that wants your cat morganized. You want your cat morganized? Yes. Why is that? Well, he has a fungus infection. A fungus infection? Uh-huh. It comes from eating grass. <laughs> I'm not joking you now. It's not the... You have a grass-eating, fungus-infected yes, cat. At least he doesn't smoke this stuff anyway. Right, well, uh, yeah, I guess I can see and what you... And he's all catched up all over here and there. Listen, can you get your cat up to the phone? Can... I have him here right now. Can he uh, meow for I us? I hope he doesn't bite. Oh, he'll bite. Well, get him to meow so I can. I know it's there. I don't want to just organize some hypothetical cat. Well, let's see. Adam, make a sound. No, he wants to how, do you, how do you make him meow? <laughs> pull his tail. <laughs> well, pull, well, don't pull his tail. Don't do that. How about you, Mommy? How about you? I got his wife here, too. But his you, wife? You just talked a little while ago. Does his wife know he eats grass? No, she doesn't. She Does she know he has a fungus? Honest to God, I'm not kidding you. And listen, another person besides that, would you uh, organize... Well, no, one fungus-ridden, uh, grass-eating cat at a time is enough. <laughs> what, what is your cat's name? Adam. Adam? Uh-huh. Okay, Adam. Uh, good luck with your fungus. Keep off the grass and zap! You're organized! 
While it lasts, 928, that's Bobby Darren with Robert W. in the Morgan. On the wind, that goes for the rest of you cats, too. Keep off the grass. Jetting west soon? Heading for Des Moines? Now you can fly to Des Moines in exactly one hour on Ozark's nonstop jets. Depart from O'Hare at 9 a.m., 310, or 630 in the evening and return on any one of three Ozark nonstops between Des Moines and O'Hare with convenient morning, afternoon, or evening departures. Three stopless Ozark jets a day, each way, between O'Hare and Des Moines. Good morning, W-I-N-D. Guten Tag. Guten Tag? That, that means good day to you. Oh, good. Uh, good. Yes, uh-huh. G- guten Tag. Guten Tag. How do you spell that? Well, that's spelled in German. I just remember those few words that my dad taught me. Oh, yeah. You don't know how to spell them. What else is new? Well, still nothing's new. This is Ziona from Wakanda. Do you have a cat? No, I don't have a cat. I got a dog, Snoopy. Does it eat grass? No, it don't eat grass. It eats dog food. Okay, and cats. Yeah, right. What do you do for kicks on a cold night in Chicagoland? Bring your lucky lady to the hottest spot in town, Maywood Park Harness Raceway. At Maywood, you can enjoy dinner and ten big races. Maywood Park is the hottest spot in town. <laughs> Paul, that horse has legs just like yours, baby. <laughs> I agree. Maywood post time, 8.30. Wind Radio Chicago School days these days aren't what they used to be. It was terrible, Dad. I don't want to go back there tomorrow. I don't want to go back. Even the courses aren't the same. I got some great speed in, man. It'll blow your mind. Violence, drugs, even anarchy. And where were the police? Listen to a cop. When we need help, we have to depend on the sheriff's police. But there aren't enough. The county board just doesn't come up with the money. The Cook County Board has the authority and the money to provide better law enforcement. But so far, they've wasted both. What they need is new leadership. On November 3rd, vote for Joe Woods for president of the Cook County Board. I'm Joe Woods. 
elect me president of the Cook County Board, and I'll do something about more funds for law enforcement. The proceeding was a dramatization paid for by the Joseph I. Woods Campaign Committee. Chuck Batson this morning at 10 on 560 WIND Chicago. It's 930. At Fort Bragg, North Carolina this morning, the Army dropped triple murder charges against Captain Jeffrey McDonald, who was accused of killing his wife and two daughters last winter. The Army prosecutor said today he had insufficient evidence. McDonald had claimed his home was invaded by three hippies who stabbed him and then killed his family. All 18 members of the Dixmoor Police Department are on strike this morning in that south suburb, the climax to months of unsuccessful bargaining with the Dixmoor City Council. I tried for over an hour to reach the Dixmoor Police Headquarters this morning, but this is all I got. So if you live in Dixmoor, try to stay out of trouble today. In the meantime, sheriff's deputies are covering, and we've sent our newsman Bill Smith to Dixmoor to talk to what cops he can find. He'll be reporting back in the course of the morning. At a few miles to the north at Oaklawn Community High School, juniors and seniors mostly attending classes this morning. But freshmen and sophomores have been told to stay home today as the strike by two-thirds of the teachers there goes into its third day. Rain today, tonight, and tomorrow. Temperatures already starting to drop down to the 40s tonight, 50s tomorrow with more rain. Right now, 55 midway, 55 O'Hare, and 57 along the lake. And I'll just bet you the sun is shining on Sunset Strip. Well, I guess my soul's elastic Cause I've been with every curve in your sidewalk Just grooving along Feeling right at home Listening to the music of your children talk Faces than any other places, and the warm glow of your night lights cast a spell on me. All the happy hearts are here with their minds all free and clear, and the whole idea seems to fit so well on me. and Sunset Strip on the Robert W. Morgan Show. It's 9.35 at the wind. Hi there. Hello? Hello? Hi, can I help you? Yes, sir. Uh, I think I...